Sparkles? No. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. Let's do this thing. All right, let me just finish eating and I'll meet you in there. Okay, I'll be in there, hanging out with your mom. Fuck you. Everyone find a seat. I'm Blair. I'm a grateful recovering addict. I'd like to open with a moment of silence for the addict who still suffers. Aaron is going to read the 12 steps for us. Hi, I'm Aaron and I'm an addict. We, went, we admitted that we were powerless over our addiction, that our lives had become unmanageable. Two, we, became, we came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. Three, we made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him. Four, we made a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves. Five, we admitted to God, to ourselves, and to another human being the exact nature of our lives. Six, we were entirely ready to have God remove all his defects of character. Seven,
back or new that would like to come up and get a welcome package? Is there anyone celebrating the 30 days? All right, how about anybody celebrating the 60 days? How's it going, brother? Your nerves have got me. Well, it's a big night. Yeah, I know. But this ain't your first rodeo. Yeah, I, uh, I know. Just breathe. Just remember, it's not all about you. Yeah, no. All right, let's go. Seriously, your mom's out there. She looks amazing. I would burn down my life for this woman. <laughs> It's gratifying, you know, knowing that I'm able to take charge and before I used to just like find reasons to get fucked up, you know, and point blame. It was the easy thing to do. So sitting with all of you here, this like combined strength, you know, like I don't feel so bad, you know, it's a form of release. So 18 months, you know, that's huge for me. But Cameron, it's your five years. Incredible, inspiring, man. With that, I just wish everyone another 24, and that's all I got. So as a lot of you know, tonight's a big night for Cameron. It's his five-year cake day. I'd like to invite up Cameron's sponsor, Bill, to say a few words. My name is Bill. I'm an addict. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. I'd like to welcome anyone new or coming back to Narcotics Anonymous. I don't know if you know this, but it's a big deal. You're sitting in that chair right now. I was on my way over here, and I was thinking about Sparky over here, just uh, shaking in his boots. Geeked right out. Got me thinking how uh, when I first came to the program, people would say these little things to me, like, uh, keep coming back, or it works if you work it, so work it, you're worth it. And now I remember hearing things like that, and at the time, I don't think I could really wrap my head around it, but uh, that meant something. There's a, there's a passage here I found my first time through the steps, and it's one I read with Cam here quite often. Just bear with me. We see that regardless of the presence or absence of material success in our lives, we can be content, and we can be happy and fulfilled with or without money, with or without a partner, with or without the approval of others. We've begun to see that God's will for us is the ability to live with dignity, to love ourselves and others, to laugh, and to find great joy and beauty in our surroundings. Our most heartfelt longings and dreams for our lives are coming true. These priceless gifts are no longer beyond our reach. They are, in fact, the very essence of God's will for us. 
Well, I think it means something that Cam's taken five years tonight. He's got some self-respect and some dignity, and most of all, he's got his mom sitting right there beside him. Come get your cake, pal. I love you. I'm Cameron, and I'm an addict. Hi, Cameron. I'll get there one day. But, uh, today is day one. Honesty, dignity, love. You know, last night it was replaced with Fear, hate, self-loathing, anger. I spiraled and I burned it all down. I don't know. I just... I forgot I was worth it. And I'm sorry to you all. And I'm sorry to myself. But I'm, I'm here. And that's something. Dicen que por las noches no más se le iba en puro llorar. Dicen que no comía, no más se le iba en puro tomar. Juran que el mismo cielo se estremecía al oír su llanto. Como sufría por ella, que hasta en su muerte la fue llamando. <tose> <tose> 